Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to make camera collision system inside of Unity. Um, so, as you can see, if I come over here and make my camera go through here, it can go right past through the table, and you can see the table is being clipped and all that, and we don't want that. So, um, let's see how to fix that. This will be the easiest and the quickest way to do it. So, let's get started. The first thing what you need to do is you need to go ahead and click link in the description box below and download one script and that script will take care of everything uh, for us like all the camera collision stuff so let me just quickly show you guys how the script looks like so this is how the script looks like it's called camera collision one and you can see this is the whole thing inside of it so it do a raycast and all of that so you don't have to worry about that um, but let's see a vector 3 and desired camera position and you can also tweak the values to get the accurate most result but this is the simple short script and you don't have to write it at all you can just download it or if you don't want to download it then you can just copy it from here you can see it uh, you can pause the video and see it and just write it down but you can download it the link will be in the description box below so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select my player and in here we have the camera base and then inside we have a camera um, if you want to learn how to make a third person game like third person character like this one uh, I already have made a dozens of uh, tutorials on that so you can go to my channel and find out the how to make a third person character controller like GTA and this is what we made in the previous videos we made the uh, weapon system and also the cloth changing system so I will show it in the l uh, end of the video uh, let's focus on uh, focus on the um, the camera collision so what you have to do is you have to select your main camera and drag and drop the camera collision script on top of your camera and voila that is that so i already have set the values for you guys so minimum distance one maximum distance four smoothness to ten and then there's distance and then there is array cast so if we play the game now we should see some kind of a collision uh, of course it will not be the accurate one but there should be some kind of a collision so as you can see the camera has moved out a little bit a little too much uh, because of the maximum distance is 4 now and we can easily tweak these guys uh, so it's not a big deal let's just set it to 4 for now and if I go over here and try to make my camera go through the uh, the floor as you can see the camera collides with the floor and moves uh, inside so without collision if I come over here and try to collide my camera to the table as you can see it just smoothly comes out BAM and if I come over here as you can see uh, it smoothly collides with this this object over here and moves inside of my player now what we can do is here we can go ahead and exit the uh, play mode and again and go inside the play mode in order to tweak the values the first thing what I want to do is I want to decrease the maximum distance so in order to do that I'm gonna just decrease it like this and see if it's good so it, it looks pretty good to me so now the uh, camera is like this and then what I can do is I can come over here and try to collide with this okay so as you can see it does not collide with it it just passes through it is colliding but the because of the minimum distance is uh, one so it is not um, it is not properly colliding with this thing so it's still in there so how what we do is we have to decrease the minimum distance so something like 0.7 and as you can see now the uh, collision is much much better all right we can also decrease it to something like uh, point six five maybe something like that five nine yeah so as you can see the camera is colliding pretty nicely uh, and it's not clipping through over here we get just can collide with it as you can see it is quite nicely um, colliding so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the component and get out of the play mode and you will notice when I get out of the play mode these values will be reset and there we go so all the values are now reset so in order to change them back to what we did in the play mode we have to click this clear and say paste 
component values this one so as you can see now we have all the values same um, and now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add in some obstacles to test the camera collision so what I can do is I can go ahead and say right click I can right click create 3d object and a cube and I can bring this cube over here make it bigger somewhat like this so this is one cube and then I can make it thinner and or I can just make it kind of a beam thing and there we go and pull it over here in front of the camera in front of the player duplicate them and see how precise the uh, camera collision is all right so there are multiple beams on top of the player and we will see how accurate the camera collision is and then I can go ahead and take this guy and maybe duplicate it and do this and you get the point I just want to test the camera collision so if I play the game now as you can see there are these beams in front of us and uh, it collides with the beam right here it also collides with this beam also uh, there we go and this beam and each and every beam so as you can see it co uh, collides pretty nicely I'm stuck inside of the beams <laughs> uh, pause the game and get us out of here uh, move the beams up a bit and as you can see the camera pretty nicely collides with these guys and if I come over here and collide with this box BAM it collides it oh, pretty cool right so that is it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and there you will find loads of tutorials uh, let's let's see what we made in the previous video so we can press F to buy the weapons and as you can see there are a whole lot of weapons over here let me just go ahead and select um, AK-47 and if I come out as you can see the AK-47 is with me now and we can buy that weapon and then also we can change the clothes so if I press F uh, we can change the clothes to white black gray and green let me just go ahead and select white uh, black sorry and then we can back and yeah there we go so AK-47 and the clothes so uh, if you want to learn all of this then you can go ahead and uh, find it out in my YouTube channel and if you want you can donate me some money through PayPal the link will be in the description box below and that is it hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool